Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you a couple tricks to help you survive the zombie infested wasteland that is 7 days to die. Okay guys, before I get into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to my channel, because this that would really help me out. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the video. This first trick will increase the amount of health that your door has. If I spawn in two zombie soldiers, you'll see that they break down the door really fast. This isn't good because obviously you're gonna die if that happens if you're doing if you're in a horde. So one easy trick to help fix that or help increase the amount of health that your door has. You're gonna wanna place your door and you're gonna wanna get hatches. You're gonna wanna make sure that they're just You're gonna wanna make sure that the hinges are facing towards the door. So the first trap door I place at the bottom, you place it, and then you open it up and it opens up towards the door. Now the second hatch, you want to hold R and click advanced. Now you're going to want to rotate your hatch till it goes up. And then if you look at the little hinges facing the back of the hatch, you'll notice that the hinges will go onto the door. That's when you want to place it. Now if I press E on the hatch, they both fold and close uh, or open actually onto the door. Now if I open both of these and I spawn in two zombie soldiers, Now if you run inside, let me close all of these. Now you see that it's much tougher. It's gonna take them longer to get in. Now obviously, in order for them to get in, they have to break that bottom hatch. This trick will help your base become much stronger. Iron bars have a set health of 2,500 and can't be upgraded any further. Poles can be upgraded to steel, and they're much stronger than bars. If you place poles like this, you'll still be able to shoot through them, and zombies can't get in. Placing electrical traps like this isn't exactly the best way to place them, because regular zombies can, can get electrocuted, but crawlers don't. There we go. A much better way to place these is like this. Dig a hole where you want to place it. Boom. Then you're going to want to dig a hole for the next one you want to place. And then you're going to wire them all up. Now, regular zombies and crawlers can get zapped. Another good tip is to protect your electrical traps because zombies can break them. Now, if you copy exactly what I do, the finished product of your pro protect protected electrical trap will look like this. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. To start off, you're going to want to dig your hole where you want to place your electrical trap. You're going to want to place it in the hole. Now, you're going to want to dig holes around it. Exactly like me. Now, if you get your block, block of, of your choice, doesn't matter, you place the blocks around the electrical trap. Now, you're going to want to dig one more back and place your blocks. Now, you're going to want to place a block here. Now, you're going to want to get your plates. You're going to hold R and click advanced. You're going to want to keep scrolling through the block cycles until you get to the best point. This point, point is here, and you're going to want to place it here and here. Keep rotating. Now you're going to want to do it here and here. Now you're going to want to get this last point, which is here. Now that we have that done, you're going to want to place a block here and here. Now, the easiest way to place your spikes is by holding R and clicking copy rotation. Now, you're going to want to place them. Hold R, copy rotation. Same here. 
Now you're pretty much done. Now you're just gonna wanna wire this all up. Now the good thing about this defense is that as your spy or as your traps get hurt, you can just repair them by going up to them. Or place new ones. I forgot to mention to place this block too. If you also want more electrical traps, all you have to do is you leave the plate there because wires can go through blocks. You're gonna wanna place your electrical trap, or you should probably already have it placed, but whatever. And all you gotta do is just wire them up and then just do the complete, uh, repeat the same process over and over again on each one. And it still works the same. This next trick can even double the amount of health that your base has. What you're gonna need is the block of your choice, a plate of your choice, and a ramp of your choice. For this example, I'm gonna be using Steel Arch 2M. Now I'm gonna hold R and click Advanced. And I'm gonna rotate these to the way I want. Which one is here. And one is here. One is here. And lastly, one is here. Now, you're gonna wanna get a plate of your choice, and you're gonna wanna place one here, and here. And here, and here. And here, and here. Now, one more, boom, and boom. And now, what you've basically done is you've saved a lot of space, but and still increased the amount of health that your base has. So now when a zombie is breaking through, they have to go through this block, and this block. Now if we just get this again, copy rotation. And boom. And I'll spawn in a couple zombies to show you guys. Sorry if you hear thunder. Also, I have bars here. So I'll do that in the last trick, or one of the last tricks. Well, obviously, I'm not gonna let them sit here. And then we'll pretend they broke through this. And now they still gotta get through that. And boom. 